You can't really live in the UAE without having a conversation, perhaps about to travel, about property prices and air conditioning. We are all seem to be obsessed with air conditioners. How often do you get your service? What pre- temperature should you set it at? Well, to give us a few more details about how you can have your air conditioner work better for you, but also some tips on how to save some bills, we are joined here in the studio by the Senior Director of Engineering at Takeef. They've been in business since 1972. They've been working with air conditioning services, both for the home and also providing corporate solutions and it's with great pleasure that we have the senior director Srini Vasan Rangan here in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in. Oh, thank you so much for inviting me. Are, are you too cold here in the studio? Do you need a jacket? Can we raise the temperature? Or <laughs> yeah, anything? I think it's a little bit cold. It is a little bit there's cold. There's an opportunity to, you know, uh, <laughs> reset the temperature. So. Uh, thank you very much for uh, for coming in. When it comes to uh, to air conditioning, in your experience, what's the best temperature to set it to? I mean, I mean, we often want to have it as cool as possible, but in order to be comfortable and save on bills, what's the best temperature? Yeah, I think it's a, you know, it's a very good question. It's important to consider 24 degrees Celsius as the uh, you know recommended temperature, and yeah. it's also recommended by Diva. 24. Uh, 24 degrees Celsius. Yes. Because because uh, for a, lo- a lot of people, being able to uh, put it at 24 for 2024, it's a good campaign you've got going. Uh, that's a, that's an optimum way of just it's not too cold it's, it's a good balance and more importantly it's better for the environment and better for your wallet yeah absolutely so because by setting it up at 24 degrees celsius what people really would want to know i believe is how can i save more yeah and moving from say 22 degrees celsius to 24 they can save on operating costs up to about uh, 10 percent but what about the the idea of regularly cleaning your AC machine and cleaning the filter because because clearly if you've got a blockage it's not going to be cooling as efficiently and it's probably going to be costing you more money yeah uh, absolutely and you know let me just say that this has got a lot of impact on the on the life of the product on the indoor air quality and the health so cleaning is absolutely important and and in order to avoid breakdowns and the lower the operating costs one must have periodic service contracts and uh, we would recommend about uh, having a quarterly service uh, contract, uh, you know, for all the air conditioning products. Quarterly? Yeah, absolutely. See, I was looking at six and 12 months, and you're saying I should double that. should be every three months. Yeah, I, I think it's important because, you know, it's got a direct bearing on your operating cost. Yeah. And in a an year, the, there's a lot of duration in the capacity of the unit and uh, also the energy efficiency. So if you do it the right way, the recommended practice is to do your quarterly maintenance. You see, you do the quarterly maintenance, but I don't even know whether they're actually cleaning because they come in and they take the grills off and then they vacuum it all and they show me these photos. This is before and I don't know if it looks better or before, aren't they? How, how, when you're looking to bring in someone to, to provide maintenance for your air conditioning units, what are some of the questions you should be asking to know that you've got the right service? Yeah, uh, absolutely. I think uh, the most important thing is to talk to certified technicians. Yeah. So that's where I think Takif's uh, uh, service professionals come into play. We've got some, uh, you know, uh, factory trained experts. So there is no chance of, you know, anything. You get what you paid for. So these are experts. And then um, uh, I, I think the more you get educated, the more you start having these conversations with them, the more you're go- going to learn. And also the the features that are there, which are being provided, you know, by us yeah. uh, through the through two brands, O General and uh, and Mydea, they've got some really smart features, which is important for you as a user consumer to know. So this gives you options of energy saving, about reliability, of, about errors. So the more you look into it, more conversation you have with these professionals, better you're going to be, you know, in using it. If someone doesn't get their AC repaired and serviced quite often. What are, what are some of the health effects? Because we don't, we don't tend to think too badly of, oh, it's just a bit of dust, but it can have quite significant effects. Yeah, I mean, the most important uh, thing which, uh, which generally happens is uh, uh, if you get gets blocked with dust or dusty, it can cause fungal or molds inside it, right? And then in the process, it's all connected to your respiratory health and uh, which can lead to bronchitis, asthma, allergies, and other headaches. So if you've got any questions, uh, we are speaking to the Senior Director of Engineering at Takeef, uh, Srinivasan Rangan. You can send through your messages, 0586861003. If, if you're in an apartment where you're renting, it, is it the landlord's responsibility to come and service the, the air conditioner? Yeah, uh, let me emphasize this because I think both landlord and, and users have got you know uh, equal stakes. 
while the landlord generally looks at the life, the capital costs, and the breakdowns, okay, he takes care of it. But the users are the one who are actually living along with the life of the mm -hmm. air conditioner. So it's important that they ensure that their comfort care is properly taken care of. And they're also paying for the operating cost. Hence, they have to ensure that it is serviced properly. Yeah, because that's then going to keep your operating cost down, yeah, obviously, if, it, if, if it's being serviced uh, properly as well. For someone who is looking to put in a new air conditioner, what's the lifespan of an air conditioner? So, uh, uh, you know, the life can be depending upon the selection of the technology. But let's assume that you're picking up a ducted unit or, or a VRF, the latest technologies, mm. which can offer the lowest possible uh, operating cost. It's about, say, about uh, 12 to 15 years. 12 to 15 years. Uh, messages uh, have just come through. 0586861003. Uh, Rahul has sent through a message. I live in a two-bedroom apartment. How much should I be paying to have my air conditioner cleaned? Yeah, uh, uh, Rahul, what I would say is just look into the, uh, you know, uh, the type of technology that is being used over there right now, okay. which, I, which is what I did in my apartment. I live also in a, a two-bedroom apartment. And I, was, I realized that I was paying a huge amount of electricity bill. I went back to the developer mm -hmm. uh, and the FM company and asked them to switch to inverter-based units. And year on year, the last two years, I've you know, reduced it by 50% my operating costs. Srinivasan, when you've been in the business for 22 years, it's a lot easier to say that. They're not going to listen to me if I say that. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah I, 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 and that's where, you know, this, the technology of inverter, knowledge about the products. Yeah. Is, is do your sense. research. Yeah, you do your research, know, and come to Turkey if you're more than happy Rahul, <laughs> to talk to you and, and advise you. Uh, you know, to how to save more money. Uh, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a great question when we talk about uh, uh, air conditioning units. And for for some people who have got a chiller built in, like some people have apartments where they're lucky enough to have the AC built into the cost, the landlord pay it. Do you find that that can be a problem? People then keep it running nonstop, and it it changes the life and how people use the air conditioning. Yeah, I mean, so when it when you have a chiller into play, and it's, mm. you don't have an independent air conditioner, you know, serving your uh, apartment, then the dynamics become slightly more dif different. So you need to look into the you know the aspect, the low side, the filters, and maintenance on this side, yeah. and then. Uh, have a conversation with the uh, with the you know service personnel to ensure that they are maintaining their products properly. Zero five eight six eight six one zero zero three. Uh, that's the telephone number as we discuss uh, air conditioning. Um, you've been uh, in Dubai twenty two years. How have you seen the air conditioning industry change or the technology evolve to what we've got now in place? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I came here, it was uh, I would say if you look at now to what it was, it was quite basic and the operating costs uh, refrigerants which were used were not so environmentally con you know sensitive but today the whole thing has changed we are now looking at uh, products uh, which are 50% uh, perhaps the you know 40 to 50% more efficient in operating cost and also uh, more sustainable refrigerants so a lot of technology changes and uh, we have, I would definitely say, much more you know, quality and uh, reliability now. Yeah, because you can always tell the old buildings they've got the air conditioning units on the outside. You know. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and perhaps this is the time, you know, it's an opportunity uh, for, uh, for us to look at replacement market and, and, and look at replacing this with more sustainable and energy efficient products. If, if price was no object, no limit, and I came to you at Tafik, what are some of the features that the latest technology has when it comes to air conditioning units for my house? Oh, I, I think the thing is now we've got features such as uh, things which are linked with Alexa and uh, time control and zone, yeah. you know, zone controls. It has got what happens if you're not there. It, you, can, you can program it. You can put your entire weekly schedules into play. So it's far more, you know, uh, integrated. And your further, it is uh, also, it's got much more intelligent in the entire operating, uh, you know, principle. And so, so it's got sensors for air quality and all those sorts of things. Yeah, absolutely, and yeah, absolutely. It, it's got uh, maintenance, uh, you know, uh, say call outs yeah. that you need to now maintain your filters. You have to replace it. So those kind of prompts and all now straight away come email notifications, which comes into play. So these are the kind of things that the user is now actively a part of knowing how this AC is working and when he has to get into the maintenance and what kind of errors that that are happening on this this error history. You yeah. know exactly which component has gone uh, wrong at if at all and so this is the kind of changes a person now if you, that's the time for a user now 
to not just operate it, operate the thermostat as on off, you know, yeah. and air flow, I, but I've needs to be more aware about what are the features. I've always said the dual zone air conditioner in a car was invented by a married man. You know, because everyone's got, uh, you know, different needs. And I guess that comes into play with having Alexa and everything to be able to control uh, the temperatures and all that, to, all those effects. Uh, you at Taki for uh, running a great, great campaign. You mentioned the 24 for 2024. So that's the idea. You set the air con to 24 degrees and you should be saving 24% of your bills. Yeah. Yeah, I what think a, that that's huge, right? I mean, the kind of technology we are talking mm. about campaigns which benefit both in, ter, in terms of capital cost as well. So please do reach out to the Takif, uh, yeah. uh, you know, our, our sales centers, and you will get some good discounts. And at the same time, we will recommend you the right kind of technology and solution which can keep your energy bill, bills the lowest. And every quarter, get your AC cleans. Absolutely, and, and we've got two, you know, very cool, I would say, uh, pro programs for servicing. One is what we call as you know, Cool pro Protect, yeah. which has got uh, a lot of different types of service contracts depending upon our customer requirements. And we've got w Cool Club, which covers you in terms of parts, warranties, and you know, extended warranties. So I think both of them are extremely focused on customer. So. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Better than some of the guys I've had over the years in Dubai that just kind of spray a bit of air freshener and then they come in and make it out that it's being cleaned. So uh, if you want more details, uh, get to Tafik. Srinivasan Rangan, the Senior Director of Engineering. Thank you for coming in on this Friday and offering that advice. Yeah, thank you. And uh, before I you know, say sign off, I yeah. would say that please take a proactive action rather than reactive. So avoid breakdowns and uh, lower your operating costs. Make sure that you get to, you know, reach out to well-trained uh, service techs, and we offer that. And uh, periodic service, you know, will take care of your health, uh, energy bills, and as well as capital costs. Yeah. yeah, it's like your car. Get it regularly serviced. You're not going to be having all these bills when it breaks down. Yeah, absolutely. And it's no different, maybe more important, because in car, you just drive from point A to point B. Here, you're living for more number of hours. So. Yeah, you're sleeping in that air, and it's having an effect on your, your whole system. Srinivasan Rangan, the Senior Director of Engineering at Sakif, thank you very much for coming in. 